Hello everyone, this is Jacob with my first update on my leveling build. I've started leveling uh, Iris as my first character this season. Just completed the story and I will show you how I, play, how I played it and how the build is set up after the story pretty much. So as I said, I play Iris. I've dropped a hammer early on that gave me plus 2 million skill level and later on I've dropped this which gives me like 26% chance to deal mini chance for minions to deal double damage which on paper is giving the build more damage so I'm using that and the rest of the gear uh, pretty much just focus on uh, as much energy as you can get which energy items start drop later on in the character prog or in the story progression and on boots you want to get as much movement speed as possible and if you get this amulet it has 10% movement speed as well you can use that and I've got this belt early on which gives you some movement speed early on as well when you are on full life so that's useful and this belt was really useful early on when I needed to a source of like HP regen and this belt pretty much heals you to full life every 20 seconds when you drop below low life which is like 35% yeah so it heals you to full when you drop to low every 20 seconds that was really useful early on so that's for the gear now for the skills Iris is getting Thunder Spirit instead of the Cold One this season, so I leveled with that. What I would suggest everyone to do is just follow what the what the guide uh, tells you to, like get get the things with a green circle and uh, star on them, and you can just follow that and be completely okay. <clears throat> if you don't want to do it like that, you can follow this video, which Summon Thunder Spirit Elemental Duo Core Links and early on for better clear multiple projectiles. And then you start adding the rest like Savage Grove, Elemental Fusion. Uh, one specific thing that I did before I started leveling Iris actually, I created a moto just to mule summon machine guard so you can create a new moto complete the first location go to town buy summon machine guard put it into stash and you can pick it up from stash and this will help you very much early on as of right now uh, the golems do around 20 thousand damage Please select the calibration which is not insane number two. but early on they help you a lot with clear so definitely if you won't get them you can get any other damaging skill you have the slot for it so why not take anything that could help you uh, with the spirits the golems do around like 10% around 10% damage basically the 10% total damage but early on it is more because like, yeah the, the spirits are not that boosted yet early on so you can use machine machine guards for free pretty much just create a new moto get the skill Get, get Tendon Slicer as a first link and once you get Steamroll and Precision Strike use Steamroll and Precision Strike and they will help you a lot with clearing then you get Blink at some point my recommendation for the first link would be Quick Mobility because it, because it reduces the cooldown of the mobility skill and the second link is Magic Dash just to get the second charge uh, then you get nourishment that boosts the growth of your uh, spirit magi or 
Thunder Spirits. <coughs> so you use that with Mass Effect. And you can later on link it with Extended Duration as well. And Dazzling Bloom to teleport your spirits to a location of your cursor. Don't worry. And they get a short buff for like 2 seconds. It increases their empower um, effect. Euphoria, Spirit Magi, they deal 43% additional damage for 2 seconds, basically. And that's it. First aura that you get, electric conversion, then you get precise projectiles, and later on you get swiftness reju and rejuvena rejuvenation. Got in swiftness as soon as you can, just to get th through the locations faster. And yeah, precise projectiles, electric conversion. That's it uh, for the passive tree. God of Machines, you can just follow the recommended path. I did not. I took more cooldown recovery speed just to be able to teleport more often, which helps a lot. So I would suggest you to do the same. But if you don't want to think about it much and you don't want to like swap screens all the time, you can just follow that the recommended path here. Um, the big passives here, they are going for shrink back in the guide, um, not necessary really, you can just take more damage here. And mighty god for minion level and spirit growth, yeah that's more damage basically. The second tree would be alchemist, they are going with some defensive nodes here, I did not find it necessary so damage attack speed then they are going for movement speed here not necessary really just get the attack speed instead crit, crit chance and crit damage I took uh, movement speed instead to get through the mobs faster then I'm taking the general minion damage node here because I'm using the golems as well but you can go straight for the Medium talents for the Spirit Magi's is the top one. Then these two, and don't take the last one, basically. And I took this as well, just to get a little bit more damage reduction. The big passives here would be Source for the Sealed Mana. And uh, I took Talents of Abyss just to get additional damage. Yeah. And the last three is Steel Vanguard, and the story is short enough, so we don't get many points here. Just go for damage, and I will show you how it will look when I get to like Time Mark Seven maps later on. Um. Hero trade wise, the first two just follow the guide pretty much. That's it. Oh, so yeah, that's it. That's my build for now. Now I will be uh, going through the maps We're still for and I will front of your eyes. update you with the next video. So, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.